Paul. Yes. Uh huh. You know, uh, I had about an hour and a half to read this magazine. Okay. <laughs> October 2018. And uh, <laughs> I want my sons to understand. <laughs> And I want to know every notice, subpoena, and summons that have been issued from every court yes. for the last 20 years. And then the actual identification of the individual. Yeah. And if the last known address does not match uh, the state issued, I'm going to sue you. And I'm going to have you put in prison, judges. Do you understand? <laughs> I am not a nice American citizen. Now, this is interesting. Yes. Spring ahead with a rate that's 21 times the national average. <laughs> Barclays. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now, usually when you pay that kind of interest, <laughs> even though interest rates might have only been 0.25%, yeah. uh, 21 times the national average uh, was courtesy of the FDIC weekly national rates and caps. Yes. Could you call the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation <laughs> and every employee of the FDIC, yes, that knows about the fraudulent issuance of court orders, right, that you have to appear in court or your driver's license will be taken away or a failure to appear. <laughs> it seems that the courts don't take seriously the rights of those that are the accused, yes, and I would say it's a malicious abuse of process, yes. To know that 1023 Kitchen Dick Road, yes, is not my address, coach. And that Pastor Mike Van Poyen did know the dog, yes, that changed the driver's license, yes, that put the space in after the comma, yes. And then the court said, well, we don't have to do anything. Mm -hmm. We're judges. Oh. Now, judges, <laughs> I am going to have you put in prison. <laughs> Because all those nice American judges mm -hmm, in every city, yes, in every county, yes, in every state, yes, in all federal judges will find that I am not nice. I will sue you for everything you own, yes, and I will have you put in prison for allowing for this to happen. <laughs> now, I'm going to need the, the weekly national rates and caps, yes, of every FDIC bank, yes. Then I want to know those, yeah, that don't want to attract money because their interest rates are low. So give me the lowest, yes, 100 banks because of the average of the interest rates that they've reported, yes, where they just didn't want to pay for the deposits. And then all of their employees, yes, <laughs> and they give me the 100 top, yes, mm -hmm, of banks throughout the nation that are FDIC insured, yes where their national rate and the rate caps were the greatest amount. <laughs> now, for those banks that don't like to pay interest because they just don't want the money, yes, yes, yes. If I find any of your employees, yes, are not actual persons, <laughs> I will sue you as a bank for employing anything that is not an American citizen. <laughs> just get me the last 20 years of employees of the 100 banks FDIC mm -hmm, that paid the least amount of ooch, interest and the 100 banks oh, FDIC that paid the greatest amount of interest <laughs> because it seems that some banks are always looking for money 21 times yes and some banks they never want to pay because they're so cheap <laughs> so you have the greed on the one side yes you do <laughs> and the frugality of the family that refuses to pay now um I'm just, I'm, I maybe can make one more video, yes. Now see this infertility? Yes. There's a woman approximately 50 years old, right? She lives in Carlsberg, yes. It says that she worked at 1023 Kitchen Dick Road as an associate pastor, Marilyn Van Point. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned about her fertility. <laughs> I had a type of gas, yes, yes, yes. 
that you could blow into the womb that would freshen up the ovaries? Yes. Uh -huh. I'm wanting her to volunteer to see if it works. Oh. <laughs> now get me all the fertility clinics everywhere that said, Oh, <laughs> we're going to go through a costly medical treatment to conceive. <laughs> Instead of allowing me yes, to sell which my balloon douche yes, that blows gas into the ovaries and wounds of those that want to conceive. <laughs> Now I'm going to sue you. Yes, she is. For obstructing my innovations. True. Now I'm wanting to see mm -hmm, exactly how fertile she is. Mm -hmm, and if she's ovulating. <laughs> now this is very important to me. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Maximum annual benefit of $16,000. Yes. This offer is valid for patients without commercial insurance coverage, yes, or those uh, whose prescription claims are eligible to be reimbursed in whole or in part by any government program. <laughs> now, we've oftentimes heard, yes, there are those out there that don't have prescription drug coverage, yeah. <laughs> I'd like to know all of them right now, yes. In every state, Medicaid, yes, and the federal government, Medicare. <laughs> now, I know we talked about this universal health care coverage. Yes, we did. But I'm wanting to sue. Yes, I am. For each and every individual that it seems implausible <clears throat> that they wouldn't have commercial insurance coverage. Yes. Or the prescription claims are not eligible to be reimbursed. Yes. By any part. Yes. Of a state or federal program. <clears throat> now, I noticed in reading through this. Yes that numerous prescription drug coverage companies mm -hmm, that advertise in Money Magazine, oh, is that right? <laughs> that um, they all seem to advertise the same availability of paying for X amount of their prescriptions. Yes. <laughs> and I'm wanting to know, yes, those individuals that take part, yes. See, here's another one of these advertisements. Oh, if you don't have prescription coverage and can't afford your medicine visit gateway to nucula.com now give me the phone numbers of all the prescription drug manufacturers yes, everywhere in the nation right that are subsidizing their prescriptions yes because i thought we all <laughs>